and South Dakota's Board of Regents met in Madison this week. Several lawmakers were also on hand to discuss some challenges and opportunities at the state's public universities. Kettleland's Carter Schmidt sat down with a few of the lawmakers to learn about those conversations. Good evening, Carter. Good evening, Bridget. Representatives Will Mortensen from Peer and Tony Venheisen from Sioux Falls talked with the regions about college affordability, access to education, developing the workforce, and keeping political activism out of college education. It was a roundtable discussion on initiatives that can be worked on in Pierre. Continuing to partner on things like college affordability, uh, keeping political activism out of our universities, uh, a lot of the things they've been doing well, we went up to let them know that we see them doing well at it and we'd sure like to help them uh, keep up the good work. The discussion comes less than a month after Governor Nome sent a four-page letter to the Board of Regents with a number of action items and announced a whistleblower hotline for people to voice concerns about South Dakota universities. Mortensen says the regents are trustworthy and they, quote, are serving our kids well and serving our state well. We wanted to make sure that the regents had a chance to talk about some of the good things that they've done in light of, you know, basically some criticisms being thrown at them. Then Heisen, who is a former member of the Board of Regents, also attended the meeting. He says visiting regularly with the Board of Regents is a priority for him and many other lawmakers. I don't like to thrive too much on um, whatever disagreements we might have. I think we all are in agreement about the importance of the universities and the technical colleges to recruit workforce. You know, we don't want to see politics in our universities or political agendas. He says affordability is the most important issue in college education and adds that the three-year tuition freeze and other scholarships, such as the recently created Freedom Scholarship, have helped. The legislature wants to work with them to keep moving in the right direction on affordability, on access to education, developing our workforce. I mean, we're lucky in this state. We have a governor and a legislature and a board of regents who I think are all moving in that same direction and see that as the priority. I think that the colleges can continue to get better in the areas of graduation uh, rates, in the areas of affordability. I mean, there's work that we can continue to, keep, to continue to do. I think that the region's leadership is keenly aware of these. I think they're moving in the right direction. The next Board of Regents meeting starts July 31st. The 2024 legislative session will get underway in Pierre, January 9th.